In the last year, we've seen the launch of the Tesla Model Y, the Ford Mustang Mach-E, the Volkswagen ID.4, the Polestar 2, the Volvo XC40 Recharge, the Audi e-tron GT, the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo, and the Mini Cooper Electric. Later this year, we'll see the first deliveries of the Lucid Air, Rivian is launching the R1S and R1T, Nissan is launching the Aria, Cadillac has the Lyric, BMW has the i4, Hyundai, the Iconic 5, Kia, the EV6, Mazda, the MX-30, Ford has an all-electric F-150, GMC has reintroduced the Hummer brand as an EV, Ferrari and Lotus are going electric, Toyota and Subaru are working on a shared EV platform, and soon even Mercedes will cease development of their internal combustion engines. So who does that leave? Virtually no one. And in this video, we're going to be talking about why it seems like the market is suddenly shifting towards electric vehicles, how EVs play an integral part in the transition to sustainable energy, and what makes a good EV great. E-mobility has won the race. We'll begin transitioning to an all-electric future. We're gonna run out of these fossil fuels. Let's just move to the future. To understand why the industry is shifting towards electric, let's first explore the shortcomings of fossil fuels, such as petroleum and natural gas. The consumption of these has contaminated the Earth's oceans, air, and land. But even if you ignore the environmental impact of burning fossil fuels for a minute, you still run into the issue of limited supply. Demand for fossil fuels is immense. As it stands today, oil and gas accounts for 96% of energy used for transportation globally. According to the 2019 Annual Energy Outlook, the world's demand for energy will grow between 40 to 80% between 2018 and 2050. According to BP, yes, that BP, the Earth has just 53 years of oil reserves left at our current rate of consumption. Once it is gone, that's it. Can you imagine what the world will look like if we do nothing to reduce our consumption? If we don't make a serious change, we will either destroy our environment or run out of fossil fuels, or both simultaneously. To solve this problem, we need to dramatically reduce our consumption of fossil fuels and transition energy production to sustainable, renewable sources. Electric vehicles are one of the biggest steps that we can take as consumers to facilitate this transition. Also, with the high price of petrol in mind, the city car in the streets of Sebring, Florida. It's another invention to beat the energy crisis and do something about the pollution problem at the same time. You may have heard the argument that EVs are bad for the environment in some areas of the country because the grid is largely powered by coal or fossil fuels. While this is true, and there is still a carbon cost to traveling with EVs, the reality is that centrally generated electricity is more energy efficient than transporting hundreds of thousands of gallons of dirty fossil fuels around the earth to burn locally in your old-fashioned combustion engine vehicle. On top of that, with an EV, as the grid shifts to more renewable energy sources, your car becomes greener with it. You may have also heard that there's a larger environmental impact to producing an EV over an internal combustion engine car. While that is true today because of the increased number of complex materials required for manufacturing, that impact is negated within two years of normal consumption. On top of that, EVs have less moving parts, meaning EVs produced today can provide as many as 1 million miles of travel before being recycled at the end of their useful life. For reference, that's almost five times the average life expectancy of an internal combustion engine vehicle. Everywhere around the globe, governments are incentivizing this transition, but what really matters is if consumers are willing to adopt the technology. EVs aren't perfect. Historically, they were ugly, underpowered machines that lacked utility outside of urban commuters. On top of that, they had limited range, so it was hard for households to consider having just an EV as their only vehicle. But in the last decade, all that has changed, and now we're seeing EVs with 500 miles of range, capable of towing serious loads and setting record track times. In our eyes, EVs have the potential to be the best vehicles for all consumers. Over the next 10 to 20 years, we believe EVs will reduce the financial and environmental cost of transportation dramatically. And through increased information and accessibility to EVs, EVs can be the future of transportation for all of us. And that's why we're here. At the Kilowatts, we put electric vehicles to the test. We review EVs and talk about their pros and cons so you can make a more informed purchase decision. So today we're announcing our new podcast, Kilowatt Hour, a weekly show where we'll be recapping the latest in EV news, talking to industry experts and friends, and engaging with you directly. Our first episode will be live next Thursday, but if you click the links below, you can subscribe now wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you enjoyed this short informational video, please go ahead and give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.